Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Glad to have you along. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Phoenix Suns. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter is Ali LaForce. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You take a look at the Mavericks. They're clinging on to the final playoff spot in the conference, trying to improve their position if possible. And for the Suns, two spots below. Well, I think for Phoenix, they're just not where they thought they'd be as a ball club. Now, after the success they had last season, they were counting on having even a better year. And you know what? Even though the season hasn't been a complete disaster, they're pretty dysfunctional as a team right now. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Royce O'Neal is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And for Dallas, a star-studded backcourt with Kyrie at point and Luka next to him. Green out there with Washington, and it's Gafford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Clark, taking a glance at the makeup of both rosters, what stands out is how many veterans there are on each team. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, B.A., that both of these coaches really value veteran experience. I mean, guys that can produce on the court, but also help mentor the younger players. Incredible balance to convert the tough basket. Booker doesn't play scared around the rim. Pass to Washington. Now Irving. 4-3. Green, the pass to Gafford. Here's Washington. Oh, denied by Durant. Booker with it. Irving picks him up. Booker against Irving. Now here's Durant. Back to Nurkic. Pass to Durant. Nurkic with the ball. For three, O'Neal. And the three-pointer goes. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. It's a five-point game. And here's Washington. Back to Irving. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Booker with it. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there? I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. First free throw is good. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Both free throws good from Booker. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. The Mavericks have gone one for three so far. Peel against Doncic. Pass to Gafford. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Five to shoot. Driving inside. Oh, denied by Durant. For all the scoring, KD's seven and a half foot reach can sometimes get overlooked. He said, let me remind you with that rejection. They get it back. And out of bounds, the Mavericks will take it. And we have just about a half a season left. Here's our latest power rankings. You take a look at the Lakers. They slipped a bit. Still in the top ten, though. Well, right now for the Mavericks, they've continued to build momentum, showing much more confidence now, and this is the perfect time to do it. Here's Dallas now. Trailing by five. Doncic against Booker. 
to the inside. Here's Gafford, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Tell you what, very few players have the playmaking ability of Luka Doncic. This guy is special with his vision and passing. One shot. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Grant, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings, and the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Irving with it, now guarded by Booker. The score now all even. Hey, there's no denying that Kyrie is a score-first guard, but he's a better passer than he gets credit for. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Nurkic, a screen on Irving. For three, Booker. Mavericks with the rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Doncic deciding where to go with it. Pass to Washington. Back to Doncic. Washington, a screen on Beal. Doncic. And Durant with the block. Booker against Doncic. Now Durant. Here's Nurkic. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. The Mavericks have gone just three for seven here at the start. Booker against Irving. Gafford the screen. Doncic outside. Outside for Irving. Just five to shoot. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Phoenix has gone one for three from beyond the arc. For three, Durant. That one's off. He's 0 for 3 now. The Mavericks trailing. Here's Washington. Doncic on the wing. Jacks up a 3. He buries it from 3. Doncic, so much confidence in his shot. The defender phased him not. Nurkic a screen on Irving. Pass to O'Neal. Fires the three. Gafford grabs the miss. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Oh, sweet move. And the layup by Irving. Irving's got his second basket. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And here's Beal. No points so far. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Even though he's not the tallest power forward, Washington does have good bounce and a long reach. Plays bigger than he is. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. The Suns making a switch here. Eubanks has checked in. Booker against Irving. Watch the screen. Now here's Eubanks. Guarded closely. Pass to Nurkic. Shot clock at three. For three, Durant. Drills it from deep. In rhythm, quick trigger. KD at his best. The Mavericks have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're five of ten. Doncic against Beal. Irving for three. It's hauled in by Beal. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. Now Irving. And you look at his 33 points a game. A terrific weapon on offense. Heel against Doncic. Pass to Gafford. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Washington with the ball. Green for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. Phoenix has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Here's Eubanks. Pass to Booker. Unloads. And another basket for Phoenix. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Irving against Booker. The three from Washington. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Washington's got five now. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Nurkic is screen on Irving. Booker pass to Nurkic. And Gafford with the block. Doncic with it. Beal picks him up. Pass to Gafford. And Nurkic comes to help. And it's Gafford missing. The Suns have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind first. Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. Boy, off the turnover that time, Washington doing a good job scoring because he hustled down the court. Pulls up. And the Suns miss again. Boy, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Irving against Booker. From deep, here's Doncic. Rebounded by Nurkic. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. The kick to Durant from deep. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Gafford's got four rebounds now. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. The three from Washington. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Timeout called. The Suns defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. And you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. Let's have a look at the teams who have been shooting the ball the most consistently these past 10 games. Second, the Mavericks. Well, you've got to love the shot selection lately. I mean, this team, the ball is finding the open man. Doncic against Booker. Now here's Gordon. He's covered closely. Knocks down the triple. Love seeing Gordon work in the pick and roll. Great at pulling up to shoot once the screen comes his way. Doncic against Booker. Washington, a screen on Booker. Here's Doncic on the wing, Jones. Offline with a three. The Suns trailing. Durant way outside. Lively grabs a miss. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Pass to Jones. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. The Suns shooting only 39% in the early going. Now Eubanks. Nurkic up top. Nurkic is screen on Hardaway. And Washington over to help. Gordon, the pass to Eubanks. Shot clock at five. And that's good. Gordon for three. Gordon's got six. Gordon so good at sizing up the defense quickly and then burning them off the catch and shoot. Here's Doncic. He played a great game against San Antonio. Pass to Lively. Outside Hardaway. 
Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Looking at a player like Tim Hardaway Jr., you don't have to encourage him to fire away, Clark. Yeah, he's a guy who's always hunting his shot, looking to let it fly from deep, and for good reason. He's an excellent three-point shooter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. All right, Clark, so what are your feelings about the back-to-backs? Do you like them? How about the players? You know, I don't mind them, but I do understand that players would like to have few of those in their schedule. So being creatures of habit, a little space between games more times than not would be well received. Hardaway hits them both. I think we all know that Hardaway Jr. is a really good score. I mean, the next step for him is improving defensively. Pass to Eubanks. Left side goal. Using his post moves to get the two points. A minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. Booker against Doncic. There's the drive. So, Clark, when you talk about Doncic, he came into the league with a ton of experience under his belt. Yeah, and I think people undervalued the experience of being a pro at the age of 16. It wasn't the NBA, but it's still professional basketball that he played in Europe. And that seasoning and that competition and that being refined in the fire allowed Doncic to step into the NBA unfazed. That's good from Doncic. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes. All night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc, they do it every chance they can get. And the Suns making a change here. Allen's checked in. Doncic hits them both. Luka Doncic is a superstar in this league, and he continues to build on what is going to be some kind of resume when it's all said and done. Has every tool that you need to have to be an MVP one day. Allen, the pass to Okogi. Over Washington. Back to Allen. Fires from deep. Washington grabs the miss. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Doncic up top. Eubanks defending. Pass to Hardaway. Now Washington. And stolen by Bull. Ooh, it's stolen away. Lively passes to Washington. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Washington's got 12 points. Washington can knock down the three. He's the epitome of the modern day forward. Athletic and can shoot it too. And it's Allen with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Eight point game. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. Hardy, he's checked in for Washington. Beal surveying the D. 27 seconds left in the opening quarter. Clock at six. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Pass to Hardy. And now the Mavs on the run. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. Here's Okogi. Here's Bowl. The bank shot. No good. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Mavericks ahead, leading by eight. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment.
Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Dallas. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Dallas has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Derek Jones is out there with Dwight Powell. Then it's Tim Hardaway. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Lively in at the 5, roaming the paint. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. Powell, it's good. You know, Powell continues to want to expand his range to get better shooting from deep. When he's connecting from outside, I think it helps his team in a big way. Now here's Beal. He's scoreless. Count the basket. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Mavericks leading. Here's Irving. Pass to Powell. Here's Lively. Bull covering. Lively with the bucket. Powell doing a nice job recognizing when to give it up. He, to me, is the epitome of a value utility player. Knows his role. Here's Beal. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. The Mavericks are hoping they have what it takes to bring home the Larry O'Brien trophy. And Luka Doncic said, quote, that's everything. I want to win the championship here. It's our goal every season. It's a lot of work, and there are so many great teams in the league. Anybody can beat you at this point. You have to really be ready. Yeah. Good stuff there, Ali. Thank you. Dallas has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Irving looking around. And that one good. Irving's got his third bucket of the night. Keeping his composure right there. Nice job by Kyrie under duress. Closed them in on two minutes played here in the second. Time Trying out, to find out. the spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. Sorry. They could really use a basket. Phoenix calls timeout. The Mavericks making a switch here. Hardy's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. O'Neal, he's checked in for a Kogi. Here's Bull. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Will Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players. And they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks, by snapping the ball around. It also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. And Bull drops them both. When you've got an imposing force like Bobo, you expect to see him at the line a lot. Irving against Allen. Pass to Hardy. Ooh, stolen by Allen. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Beal, the pass to Allen. That one rolls around and rims out. And it's Jones with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Coming into this, having Knox to win against San Antonio in their last game. No doubt. That game tells you what kind of team they are. They weren't at their best that night and still got the win. They were better than the box score might indicate because they were solid in execution. 
more so than the stats would show. Now here's Allen. He's coming off a 13-point game against Detroit. Eubanks, the pass to Allen. The Suns need to get off a shot. Two on the clock. Three-pointer. Beal sends it home from three-point land. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. There's a screen. Pass to Lively. Out left to the wing. The three, Hardy. Dallas, no good that time either. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. That shot wide open. Beal's got his second bucket on the night. A growing part of Bowl's game. Good to see him connect from the corner. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Hardy, the pass to Jones. Here's Lively. Irving attacking. And the 10-footer finds the target. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Booker, he's checked in for Allen. Here's O'Neal. That's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Over the course of the last month, here are the NBA's best free throw shooting teams. In the third spot, the Suns. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Five on the clock. Pass to Eubanks from deep three-point range. Lively grabs the miss. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and it was maybe a step out of his range. Well, at least he had the presence of mind to change his shot when the defense got on him. You've got to improvise sometimes. Now here's Booker. Back to Beal. From the high post. Phoenix no good that time either. The Mavericks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's Irving. That one rolls around and rims out. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Washington's checked in for the Mavericks. Here's Bowl. And the Suns miss again. The Mavericks leading. Down low. Here's Lively. Over Bowl. Bowl grabs the board. The Suns have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. O'Neal passes to Bowl. Beal against Hardaway. Now here's Beal. He's got five. That won't go. Just two for seven shooting. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring grant. There's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Yeah, when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Makes a first. The Suns making a switch here. Durant's checked in. The 
It's also good. So he hits both free throws. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. You know, Clark, when you think about the history of this Dallas franchise, one man stands out. That's Dirk. Yeah, he's worthy of a statue for sure, B.A. He played all 21 seasons of his career with the Mavs. He was the first European MVP in league history. And then in 2011, he helped bring an NBA title to the Mavericks, Take beating the LeBron Wade-led Heat team. First one falls. Hardaway hits them both. Here's Booker. Coming off a 28-point game against Detroit. And his effort carried over to the defensive end. He came away with three steals and was a pest in general all night. Two points. That one goes. Here's Doncic. He's got five. Gafford with a screen on Booker. Pass to Gafford. And here's Hardaway. Launches a three. O'Neal pulls it in. Booker with it. Launches it. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Doncic with it. Hardaway on the wing. Shot clock at six. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got four assists now tonight. Tell you what, there's not much the defense can do about that. I mean, Hardaway Jr. just has a special knack for making difficult shots. Now here's Durant. So versatile on offense. Averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. KD out here flexing on people. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Dallas has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Booker against Doncic. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Excellent finish that time inside by Doncic. He's highly skilled. I mean, that's obvious. What's not so obvious is how big he is. This guy looks me eye to eye. The Suns have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Booker against Doncic. Durant finds Beal. Softly drops in the floater. Beal's got seven points here in the quarter. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Gafford with a screen on Beal. Hard away with it. Guarded down by Bull. And the dunk by Gafford. But, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. For Phoenix, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Beal against Hardaway. Up top, Beal. He has seven. Pass to O'Neal. Just five on the clock. Durant for three. And the three-pointer is good for Durant. No fear or hesitation from KD. He's able to hit from anywhere. And Dallas calls time here. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Hardaway. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Kevin Durant. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. 
He's got to get himself going tonight or they'll start losing patience with him. Here's Doncic. He has seven. Pass to Washington. Back to Doncic. Luka! Get off me! And that's the weight room strength of Doncic right there. Fully displayed. The Suns have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Booker, the pass to Durant. Back to Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Green in the post. He's against O'Neal. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. Phoenix has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Booker against Irving. Outside Booker. Gordon outside. Hold a screen on Doncic. Clock is at three. Knocks down the long J. Gordon's got nine points. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Irving, the pass to Washington. Doncic with it. Nine points in the game. Back to Washington. The three. Durant pulls it in. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Booker no good. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Doncic passes to Green. Durant against Washington. Pass to Irving. Doncic outside. Up and over Gordon. Doncic, no good. Phoenix has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Durant. Oh, Durant playing big in the paint. He's turned it on here in the second quarter, getting his offensive game on track. 1-11 left to play in the first half. Doncic passes to Irving. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Gordon. Look, I know he runs the point, but boy, can Doncic go to work inside. First free throw is good. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Phoenix. Beal comes in for Gordon. Doncic hits them both. One minute left in the half. Durant surveying the D. Outside Booker. There's a screen by Nurkic from the strike. Booker can't get it to go. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. 
Oh, too easy for Nurkic. A big man who goes up strong. You have to meet him at the rim and counter his aggression. So it's the Mavericks now. Following the score by Phoenix. Spins. To the wing on the left. Doncic outside. Takes the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. O'Neal passes to Booker. From outside, off the mark. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Mavericks ahead, up four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not let them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding. And, uh, not let them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Greetings all, halftime is upon us and an entertaining game with the Dallas Mavericks battling away. You look at their shot chart, what stands out to me is all the activity inside. They've been the aggressor. It's straight up bully ball. And they have the horses to pull it off. And moving on to some mid-season analysis, let's check out the latest power rankings. When I look at the Mavericks, a bit of a downward trend for them. Still a lot of games to play, but I don't see too much cause for concern. Yeah, but they got to flip the switch if they want a chance at home court in the postseason. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. We've seen P.J. Washington really having a great game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And so in the game for the Suns. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal in the backcourt, and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Royce O'Neal. Irvin knows exactly when to let that shot go. He's a knockdown threat from deep for sure. The three, Durant. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. They'll take on the Pacers at Gainbridge Fieldhouse after this one. And that starts a four-game road trip for them. Flashing those crazy handles. I mean, major rush hour handles. So fun watching Irvin handle the ball the way he does. And here's Beal. Outside Booker. Pass to O'Neal. This one for three. It's not going to go for him. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And as for P.J. Washington, lots of success early on and lots of room to grow. To me, Grant, he's got all the skills. I mean, he's got a big body. He can play either the four or the five effectively. And he can dominate you inside physically. Not a lot of guys can do that. And then he can back out and make the three-two. It's a lethal combination. Now here's Booker. Give him eight. Outside Durant. Nurkic, a screen on Washington. Durant, no good. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Pass to Irving. For three. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got assist number five here tonight. Wow. <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Phoenix calls timeout.
And let's take a look at the leaderboard and see which players were the top shooters from three-point land this past month. And you look at Green. Boy, he's a sniper. Third best three-point shooter in the league. Sometimes you get into a rhythm from long range, and you can ride that stretch for a while. Into the third. Two minutes in now. And the Suns miss again. Rough start to the third quarter. But give some credit to the defense they're facing. Irving finds Gafford. Outside for Green. Doncic against Durant. Pass to Washington. The three ball. Another three for Dallas. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment. Here. And it's Peel with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Nothing yet for him here in the third quarter. Here's O'Neal. Green covering. Durant with it. Over Washington. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. One shot. think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep. The touch at the rim. Excellent handle. Seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. Now here's Doncic. 11 points in the game. Outside for Irving. And the three off target. Phoenix has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to O'Neal. Let's go with a three. Gafford grabs the miss. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 14-3 run. Booker against Irving. Back to Doncic. Six to shoot. Here comes Luka. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And that one misses. The Suns have gone only one for six here in the second half. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, Kyrie Irving is a deadly closer when the game is on the line. Where did it come from? He said, quote, studying the greats and striving to be greater than them. There's a commonality in the way they control emotions at the end of the game. I've been able to learn over time. Ryan? Well, he's hit some big shots. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff there. Free throw drops for Beal. What I admire about Beal is his work ethic. His desire to keep improving year after year. And Beal drops them both. And in terms of the league as a whole... There have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Beal. Nine points in the game. Right side, Durant. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. 
And for the Suns, they're shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Pass to Booker. Here's Durant. Nurkic, a screen on Washington. A three, Durant. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got nine rebounds now. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Doncic outside. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got six assists in the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Phoenix calls timeout. Tops in scoring, second in field goal percentage. And they finished top five of the association in blocks per game. Their rabid intensity on this end really shining through and helping to intimidate opponents. And it's no secret the league is definitely more offensive-oriented nowadays. And they are the best of the bunch in following that trend, leading the league in points per game. Now here's Booker. Give him eight points now. They get the rebound. Out to Beal. It's stolen by Washington. And here's Doncic outside. The Suns clear it. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And Nurkic throws it down. Nice read from the veteran Durant that time, recognizing the defense had overcommitted. Now Doncic. He's got 18. to Washington from downtown Durant pulls it in surprising to see him miss here but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions to the paint just five to shoot looking to get it going and the rebound goes to the Mavericks Gafford's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Washington passes to Irving. And Durant with the block. O'Neal on the wing. Green covering. Yep, that one's good. O'Neal's got seven. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense that set up a wide open man. Here's Doncic. Doing damage on offense. He's averaging about 29 and a half a game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Kevin Durant. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. Another thing they're doing well tonight is shooting from long distance. All game long, they've been finding openings at the perimeter. First one falls for him. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. And he can't hit the second. Well, the Suns shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Durant, the pass to Booker. Now Nurkic. And the shot goes. Nurkic has got four points this quarter. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They led the game at one point by 20. Takes a 13-footer. Here's Gafford. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second-chance points. He's got seven. 
And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. And another basket for Phoenix. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now here's Doncic. He's got 19. Outside for Green. Fires for three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Green's got eight. Lucas peripheral vision off the charts. Get wide open, and he's going to find you. The Suns shooting just 36% in the third. Beal, the pass to Booker. Oh, there's the alley! Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom! Lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice easy layup, which was a good decision. Timeout called. The Mavericks. And now we go to the 2K leaderboard to look at the teams with the most blocks per game over the last month. The Suns in second, the Mavericks fourth, and lately both of these squads have been dominant defenders in the paint, piling up some jaw-dropping shot-blocking stats. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Hardaway with it. Six points for him. Green, the pass to Lively. Clock at six. Outside for Green. The three. Doesn't go for him. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. And Phoenix shooting only 42%. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And we have to take another look at that block. That's exactly what a team needs when they're playing from behind. Energetic defense. Beal against Hardaway. Pass to Eubanks. Now Booker. On the wing, Durant. Shot clock at six. Oh, KD! Filthy! Not many bigs can slow down KD once he gets around the rim. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. The things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Doncic outside. Hardaway on the wing. Launches a three. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Eubanks. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Eubanks, he's got eight. And he's really improved as a playmaker over the years. Beal's basketball IQ seems to just get higher and higher. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Now here's Doncic. He's got 19. That free throw good from Gafford. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Allen comes in for Booker. It's both from the stripe. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. 
Doncic against Allen. Beal outside. Here's Durant. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic outside. Pass to Green. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Here's Durant. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got six assists in the game. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. The Mavericks shooting an excellent rate of 56% in the third quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Gafford. Back to Hardaway. Here's Lively. Doncic outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Gafford. And he lays it up and in. Gafford's got six in the quarter. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. And it's Allen with a ball for Phoenix. They trail by 14. 127 left to play in the third quarter. Back to Eubanks. Pass to Allen from the arc. Buries it from three. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. And here's Doncic. Allen defending. Doncic against Allen. Fades back. Doncic, no good. Well, Phoenix is shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Beal, the pass to Bowl. That cuts the lead to single digits. Bowl's got six. Not too many can match up with Bowl in close. Dallas is shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Doncic outside. From outside the arc. Oh, Luka with a deep one. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. He's been absolutely relentless. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Allen against Doncic. Now here's Allen. Tightly guarded. Beal outside. Let's it go. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Outside, green. Pass to Doncic. Knocked away. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Just four seconds left in the third quarter. From deep, here's Doncic. Hits the trifecta. Doncic has got 14 points here in the second half. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the Suns shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. They've got Tim Hardaway. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. And then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Lively in at the center position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. 
Bowles gone two of five from the field here. Here's Hardaway. Puts the move on. Lively. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Mavericks lead by 17. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. Irving against Booker. And here's Eubanks. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Eubanks. Clock at six. Booker with it. The three ball. Oh, Booker with the triple. And I like how Booker is selective taking threes. Makes it count when he does take one. Hardaway finds Irving. And there's a pick. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Beal. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Bowl. It's tipped. Hardaway against Beal. Here's the floater. Hardaway, no good. The Suns have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Booker. Lively grabs the miss. Lively's got rebound number seven tonight. Hardaway with it. Beal picks him up. When Hardaway Jr. is forcing the issue like that, it draws the defense's attention, and I like his aggressiveness as a scorer. Good from Hardaway. Gordon, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. So he gets them both. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Suns. Cole, screen on Hardaway. Here's Gordon. Here's Bowl. The Mavericks pull it in. Lively's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Irving against Booker. Washington outside. From downtown. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. Booker, the pass to O'Neal. Fires from deep. The Mavericks pull it in. Gafford's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Booker against Irving. Gafford the screen. And he's going for the oop here. And the dunk by Gafford. Tell you what, I could watch this move and this movie all night long. Irving doing a nice job getting his team quality shots. The Suns shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Gordon outside. Pass to Eubanks. Gordon against Hardaway. There's the screen by Bowl. For three, Gordon. Lively grabs the miss. Lively's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Hardaway finds Irving. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. And the Mavericks making a change here. Green is checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Nurkic is checked in. Irving against Booker. Gordon's got space. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got three assists in the game. Yeah, great awareness there from Booker. A selfless team first player. Now here's Irving. For three, Hardaway. Bull grabs the board. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Gordon outside. Pass to Nurkic. 
laid it in with a nice touch off the window. We often talk about Gordon's scoring ability, but there, great feed to an open teammate. And the Mavericks call time here. Gafford, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for the Suns. Beal comes in for Gordon. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Jason Kidd had some words for his team over the break. He said to his guys, this one is not over yet. You have worked hard for this lead, and we are not about to give it up now. Stay focused and keep hustling. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. Dallas has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Hardaway finds Washington. Pass to Gafford. Now Irving. And he drives in. And he makes it on the layup. Irving's got 21 points in the game. Knifing through the defense like warm butter on a biscuit. Irving knows how to get to the rim. The Suns have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Durant with a screen on Irving. Booker goes in. Misses from short range. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Pass to Irving. Gafford with the ball. Defended by Nurkic. And Irving with the basket. On the assist by Gafford. Irving's got 15 points here in the second half. Phoenix has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Beal against Hardaway. Now here's Nurkic. Beal outside. And here's Nurkic. The kick to Durant. They shoot again. And he gets the bucket. 21 points in the game. Durant has definitely been on one tonight. Knocking down shots for himself at a high rate. For Dallas, they've gone 4 for 10 in the fourth. Booker against Irving. Booker with the defensive effort. Well, the Suns shooting an average of 43% from the floor. To the middle. Here's Beal. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Now here's Irving. Outside Hardaway. Floats one up. Got it. And the Mavericks lead by 16. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Outside Booker. Back to Beal. Durant for three. Cash from the corner. Durant sends it in. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. For Dallas, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Irving against Booker. Pass to Gafford. For three, Hardaway sinks it from distance. Hardaway's got seven points for the quarter. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. Now here's Irving. Pass to Gafford. Here's Green. Shot clock at six. Oh, denied by Durant. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Luka Doncic comes in for Green. And the Suns also making a change. Eubanks, he's checked in for O'Neal. Shot clock at two. Here's Doncic. 
That one rolls around and rims out. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Beal, that one's good. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love watching Beal go to work. He makes good decisions, and that time, no hesitation off the catch. And Irving has got the ball here for Dallas. They led the game at one point by 20. And Doncic, here we go. Got a hand on it. Booker against Irving. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. The Suns making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. Booker for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Takes a three. Goes back up. And the bucket is good from Gafford in deep. Gafford's got four points this quarter. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. It's Booker on the wing. He's guarded by Irving. Booker can't get it to go. Dallas has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Doncic with it. Beal picks him up. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, what separates Doncic from most players, he's really calm under pressure. Great poise. You can't speed him up. He plays at his own pace. That's good from Doncic. Doncic hits them both. The Suns shooting just 37% since the fourth quarter got started. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Durant. He's checked by Kleba. Durant, the pass to Nurkic. Here's O'Neal. Outside Booker. Five to shoot. Launches it from deep. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. And we'll see if that's the answer. Pass to Durant. Three-pointer O'Neal. Hardaway grabs the board. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Now here's Irving. On the take. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got 25 points. Boy, how about that crafty drive by Irving? Anticipating the contact and able to get around and through it. Now Beal. Nurkic high post. Pass to Booker. Over Irving. And Booker the bucket on the assist from Nurkic. Booker's got five points now in the quarter. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes often. Booker against Irving. And here's Gafford. Doncic with it. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Irving for three. It's hauled in by Beal. Beal's got four rebounds now. Here's Booker. Beal outside. Pass to Nurkic. Back to Beal. Outside Durant. Here's the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Gafford's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Mavericks. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Grant. Competitive game, they battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win.
And they're getting ready to notch their 33rd win of the year. And you could almost sense the effort they were going to bring from the opening tip. It was all about evening up the season series 2-2 two to two against the Suns. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Luka Doncic. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Outside Hardaway. Outside Irving. Takes the three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it. They've done it. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Durant. All alone. Gafford grabs the miss. Doncic against Beal. Doncic up top. Kicks it out to Hardaway. It's stolen by Nurkic. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business in this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. <laughs> and the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, when we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively, it makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive. And I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.